Get on my phone. Stop calling me home. Get it back on my own. You nigga not get my bones. Fuck up a bag anymore. Pockets so fat for hoes. Double low get on us. I'm here with my boy Anthony, bro. How you doing, bro? Doing good, gang. Doing good. Yeah, Hell yeah. Man. So, how old are you and where are you from? I'm 16 and I'm from Virginia. Virginia. Hell. Hell yeah, bro. And what got you into music? Uh, really, what got me into music is like seeing like other like underground artists like 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 around my age. They was going up and going crazy and shit. And I was like, damn. Like, if they can do it, I can do it. So, yeah. I just said, fuck it. I started hopping on band lab, doing shit, and hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. It's fire, bro. And how's it been going so far? It's been going smooth, bro. Smooth hell as yeah. fuck. I ain't gonna lie. Smooth hell as hell. Yeah. hell Getting yeah. hella connections, hella positive feedback. Shit been going crazy. So, That's fire, you know bro. Like, I don't do music, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? If you put out something and people actually like it, I feel like that would be a good feeling, bro. Like, Oh God, that shit is a fire ass feeling, bro. Yeah, like, bro. I found you on TikTok, so you do TikTok. How long have you been doing TikTok for? I've been doing TikTok for like a whole year straight. Yeah, a whole year straight, and I'm oh, yeah. I'm finally getting some positive shit out of it, and like, I just got my little breakthrough, and I just ran with it. So hell yeah, hell yeah. TikTok is weird, bro. Like, you know <laughs> what I'm saying a lot of people when they first start, like your first video could like get, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, say it gets two thousand views, and then. You know what I'm saying? A couple months after that, the shit's just going down. That's how mine was, mm -hmm. at least. And then you'll get that one video that just blows you the fuck up. And then, oh, God. But there's a lot of ups and downs to TikTok. Like, hell yeah, hell yeah. And, um, you just gotta be consistent. If you be consistent, shit's gonna bound up. Especially if you make good music as well. Like, shit bound up. Exactly, Go crazy. Bro. Exactly. It's so, time. Um, you listen to a lot of underground music? Uh... Yeah, here and there, but like I really listen to like just myself. I ain't gonna lie, like my own music. Do you have like a top three like underground artists? Mm -mm. Top three underground artists right now for me probably like Summers, Isaiah, TG, like mm -mm. put like Lonely. Hell shit. yeah, bro! You be uh, have you ever performed? Nah, not yet. But I'm supposed to perform in ATL this summer. With That's my right, man's, uh, I'm going down there with Keem and I think Ko Banks, but I don't know for sure yet. It's just gonna be a bunch of rappers from my area. We're gonna go down to ATL. We're gonna show them what like Virginia all about and shit. That's fire, bro. Hell yeah. God. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's another thing that would be like a good feeling, bro. Like just like performing your music. Yeah, oh, bro. Oh God, that should be fire as hell. Hell yeah. You do you go to any concerts? Like you like going mm. to concerts? Not really. I try. I really just stay out the way when it comes to concerts and shit. Like, it really don't be my like scenery for real. So. Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. So, um, let's see this. Who? Okay, so look. Whenever you started music, right? Mm -hmm. Who are some people? Or no, it don't even have to be music. Just like in life, who are like three people if you can name them that like inspired you in a way or like helped you keep pushing? Uh, definitely my mom. One of them. Oh, yeah. My mom, she was hella supportive about it, and she like like cause me and my mom would be in a car and I'd just be playing my music like she's supported like that. So I get the, I, I get the privilege of like playing my music to my mom and her being supportive. Cause there's a hella artists that were here that be like hiding their music from their parents because mm -hmm. like they can't, their parents won't support it. But yeah, my mom's definitely one of them. Uh, my dad too for sure. Oh, he yeah. he be supportive, but he just a little low key, so it won't really be. Like, on that, like that, and then probably like, I don't know if this count, but like, like friends, like my yeah. friends three, cause like, like even though I was bad, like a long time ago, like they kept me going by calling me good and stuff, and like, I, they they let me figure out on my own how to like really improve and shit, cause like say they were calling me trash off rip, I wouldn't have kept going, I would have exactly. been like, damn, I suck at this shit, like let me stop, like hell yeah, like so like supportive friends. Like cr constructive criticism, but not like shit talking me, like that yeah. shit really helps. So, yeah, yeah. Bro. like, and this is where everyone watching, bro. There's so many, <laughs> like, especially in high school, bro. So many fake people, bro. Like, oh my god, I um, I separated myself from like everyone that used, cause listen, everyone that I used to fuck with used to talk shit about me, right? Mm. And like in middle school, I didn't know better, so I kept being friends with them. But like oh now, bro, like. Whenever I started YouTube and shit, they were the ones that were like, 
know what I'm saying? Disliking the videos and like that type of shit, bro. Oh so, yeah, no, that shit uh, weird. Yeah. That's why I, I keep my circle small, bro. Like I don't really fuck oh, with God. a lot of people, but that's the way to do it, though. Exactly, bro. Cause God. I think honestly, bro, I think the best like friends to have are the friends that are like chasing what you're chasing because they oh, they can relate to shit. They could you know what I'm saying understand what you're talking about and they would actually mm-hmm. care. Um, cause they're trying yeah, to, you know yeah. what I'm saying, achieve something, bro. But yeah, yeah bro. Like, if you cooling with hella people that like are really got the same focus and all like passionate about going up, like you going, like you all going bound to go up, especially if y'all all on top of y'all shit, not fucking around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like I surround myself with like, like I, before, like I like got my breakout on TikTok. I like was like chilling with like my OG friends and I still chill with my OG friends here and there, but it's like. Now that I got more connections, I be, like, hanging out with more, like, up there, like, underground artists and shit, like, I ain't gonna say no names, but, like, like, for some of the people and shit, you know what I'm saying? I be hanging out with them, so, it really just, it showed me some things. Exactly. That's fire, bro. Hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, and I say this on a lot of interviews, bro, but, like, so, look, streaming's my main thing, obviously, like, you know what I'm saying? But these, I don't even do these for no type of attention. I just do these to... First of all, meet people and, you know what I'm saying, it can help you, you know what I'm saying, yeah. maybe get a new fan, you know what I'm saying, like that type of shit. Oh, it's just God. about, you know what I'm saying, we all trying to come up, you know what I'm saying, we're all young and shit, so yeah, bro, we all trying to make it. Oh, but, God, oh, but, God. Yeah. You got any new, like, music dropping anytime soon? Uh, Friday I got this drop. I don't know if it's going to be a solo or a feature yet, because I might get Pharrell B on the song, but I don't know if, like, I'm a get him on for sure yet because hopefully he can get it done before friday but if he can't then it's gonna just be a solo job and if he gets on it i would i was thinking about like shooting a music video with him in new york because i'm about to go to new york and hey. i'm gonna try to get my director to come out with us there that we hey. can go shoot some shit in like manhattan or somewhere that's fire bro. I've, been, I've been trying to go to new york bro because yeah. <coughs> there's concert um um I, don't, I think in the next couple of months but yeah bro it's just hard, bro, because when you're young, like, I'm only 16, so, like, it's hard, yeah, bro. Yeah. It's hard to travel, bro. But, oh, God, it's hard to travel, bro. You be having a big-ass imagination, but, <laughs> shit, shit, you, you not the person controlling where you go sometimes. Exactly, bro. But, yeah, bro. What's that song on TikTok? You posted on your Instagram story. Um, uh, it, it goes, like, stay high and that shit. Yeah, that shit is so yeah. tough, bro. Is that shit yeah. out? Uh nah, that's the song I'm dropping Friday. Oh, okay, actually. okay, okay. Hell yeah, so that shit is that's tough, that's the song that uh that's the song that um he might get on uh for real. That shit is tough, bro. Hell yeah, Hell yeah. Bro. yeah. I got um, I give I've been getting hella positive feedback for bro, that song like crazy. I ain't like, gonna lie, like keep promoting like bro, keep promoting the fuck out that shit, bro. And like there's gonna be one video, right? That say mm-hmm. gets like a couple hundred thousand views and then people are just gonna start going crazy, like making videos oh, and God. shit. Bro, I'm already hard. getting some people to make a video, so shit. That, that's good as fuck, so I'm gonna Hell just yeah, keep bro. grinding that shit on God. Hell yeah. If you weren't, like, doing music right now, what do you think you'd be doing, like? Okay, so, like, I play sports as well. Like, I'm not just, like, a underground rapper. Like, I, I also play sports and shit. Hell and yeah. so I think I'd just be doing sports, like, just more focused on sports. But I ain't gonna lie, like, it's kind of hard to say, but, like, I, I really like like music more than sports even though i've been doing sports my whole life like yeah i really like fell in love with music and it's not like i don't like sports no more but it's like music definitely like i would rather be famous and known for music instead of like being a favorite someone's favorite sport player exactly bro hell yeah (laughs) that's fire bro it's just like more freedom and shit with music like you can do what you want like with sports you got scheduled practices meetings and some other shit like what what bro with fucking music you could just do whatever the fuck you want go wherever you want buy whatever you want you know what i'm saying that's the so, sorry go ahead. go ahead nah 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 but yeah that, that that that's just like the freedom aspect of it like that's yeah. it though. Yeah, yeah that's like the cool thing about content and music and everything is you could do whatever you want bro you know what i'm saying like oh my god you, you and people are going to support you for it exactly like that's why you gotta just build a fan base that's to everyone yeah, watching bro like this shit can this shit is not gonna happen overnight. Like it's not. Oh, You're not gonna start one day and be, you know what I'm saying, eight and rise the next day. Yeah, it just don't yeah. work like that. You just gotta grind, you know what I'm saying, build a fan base, build some 
You know what I'm saying? Build a good mindset, bro. That's one thing. Mindset, I bro. I was just thinking that shit, bro. <laughs> like, if you don't got a good mindset, bro, it's over. Like, you never gonna get nowhere with a bad mindset, bro. Exactly, like, bro. Like, I never knew how good my mindset was until after I got my breakthrough on TikTok. And I looked at my older vids, and I was like, damn, I was getting 20 likes, 20 likes, 20 likes a vid. Like, 20 likes a vid, and I just kept posting, just kept posting. Like, that. that's the problem with, like, people. Like, they be saying the TikTok strat not that good, bro. But it's like, you got to give it time. You really got to give it time. Because, like, bro, it's not going to be like, oh, your first vid, your first couple of vids is just going to be an instant blow up. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You got to give it time and find the right tags right fan base like it's gonna it's gonna eventually hit so you just gotta give it time and keep a positive mindset and how a lot of people quit on youtube or on tiktok is they'll get like a viral video right so it's mm -hmm. like um 500k and then they will um they'll think like damn you know what i'm saying like every video is gonna get 500k that's how a lot of people think bro and then when they see that shit going down because that's how tiktok works they quit that's literally how. Yeah. So many people do that, bro. So many people. And it's Personally, how I would look at it with my mindset, I would be like, damn, okay, I got 500K. I can do it again. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Like, I did it before. I can do it again. You know what I'm saying? That's how I, that's how I look at it. So, it's like, if you get a blow up once and then you start going downhill and you're not really getting that same blow up numbers you had, like, you did it before, you can do it again. That's how I see it. Exactly, bro. Exactly, bro. But listen, so say you got some supporters watching right now that want to start music. What advice do you have like for them starting music? All right, so my advice for them is, to be honest, like, uh, try to find a good group of people to be with while making music. Like, find other people that make music, try to build connections. But, like, a lot of people have egos in the underground shit, so it's, like, kind of hard to make connections. So... Uh, I really say like join like underground servers and like just be cool. Don't come off as no fan or none because people don't like that. Like at least like bigger people don't like that. So don't come off as like your dick riding or something. Just like be chill. Like if they fuck with your vibe, then they fuck with you. If they don't, then that's their loss. You know what I'm saying? And then also promotion. Promotion is huge. Like you could have the best song in the world and drop that shit with n no promotion, and it's gonna do terrible. Because there's no promotion, like promotion. It with with my mindset, like with this music shit, it goes sixty percent promotion to forty percent music. Like how good you are at music. Like promotion is bigger than how good the music is. Cause there, like I know you've seen, like there's probably some people on TikTok that blow up, but the song's not even that crazy. Yeah. It's because their promotion is really good. So it's like it it attracts the fans, it pulls them in, it reels them in. So yeah, definitely promote on like. Promote on your IG, like, don't be scared of, like, how your IRLs or, like, your, like, family or how, like, your, like, friends are going to, like, think about your music or how other people think, bro. If you think your shit hard, bro, post it, bro, post it. It probably is hard. And yeah. even if it's not hard to them, it's hard to you, so. You make music for yourself, not for everyone else, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, promotion, getting a good friend group, and investing equipment on God. Like, invest in equipment, like. If you got a bad mic, bro, like, it's really, that's a really bad, like, cap. Like, you're mm -hmm. going to get capped so bad with a bad mic. Like, you could have the right idea, the right flow, everything. But if your mic's just not there, people is not going to give your music even a chance. Exactly, bro. So, so like, I say get a Audio Technica AT2020 XLR mic. That's what I got. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And get a Focusrite Scarlet interface and... That's what you I got straight. too. What the? Oh God! Like, bro, this that's shit, the, it's fire, that's like bro. The, that's that's the most generic, cheap setup you could get. It's like three hundred dollars, but it's a good investment. It's a good ass investment. So, oh yeah, it's just fire, bro. Oh God. Oh yeah, but yeah, bro. I like your mindset, bro. Like, bro, so many people in the underground. Like, that's why I like about the underground. They have so like so like good mindsets, bro. It's like oh, God. that's the most important thing, bro. And like you were saying about like the. You know what I'm saying? Say the quality of your mic. Damn, that goes the same way with like content, right? If someone mm -hmm. sees you got shitty quality, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't yeah, want to watch that shit. Up. So it's just like yeah. same as that, bro. But yeah, bro. Um oh yeah, another thing. The ego shit, bro, I hate that shit, bro. I yeah, would not surround so myself dead. with people like so that. So dead, bro. It's so annoying. Like, Cause like, bro, like I really came up from none, like, oh god, like bro. 
So like before I had my TikTok break, bro, like I would be the pe- person in the call getting egoed and be like, yo, like I would join a random call with like a bunch of other like not known people. I would join the call and they'd be like, yo, who the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? Like as soon as I join, like I can't get a hey no more. Like what's up, bro? Like it's like people would be so weird. But now I join calls, people singing my songs, like being mm-hmm. like, when are you going to drop again? Show some unreleased, you know what I'm saying? Like, like semi open. Can I get a feature? Like. But it's like I don't I don't take that shit and be weird about it. Be like, yo, bro, who the fuck are you or some shit? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be cool. I'd be like, bro, just hit me up, hit me up, bro, send me. I got you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because like, I I don't know why people would have an ego in the underground when we're all underground. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not like anyone's mainstream or like making millions, bro. Half these underground artists, bro, not even making money like that off like a big ass song. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. I think I think I think everyone just needs to be chill and just realize have like the realization that we all underground and no one's like fucking Tofago exactly. or like Cardi bro like bro here's the thing this is why I, like so I just did an interview with this guy his name was Chase on Green and mm-hmm. like I liked what he said he said I forgot what he, what he said he said if I had a thousand or a mil I would still be doing like you know what I'm saying like he doesn't have an mm-hmm. ego like that's the type of shit I like bro because people think that they're better than someone because of numbers whatever Shit is mm-hmm. so stupid, bro. Like, but yeah, bro. Bro, we all bleed the same, bro. We all human, bro. We're all like, trying to, you know what I'm saying? We, we all trying to chase our dreams. So there's no oh, reason to be hating on someone. Like, that's why that's I don't bad. get haters, bro. Like, like I don't get them, bro. Like, well, I get them. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get you. Know, yeah. You know what I mean? I see what, you, I see what yeah. you're saying, bro. But, like, they're weird, bro. Like, they're <laughs> hating on someone. But then if they want to chase something, they wouldn't like You know what I'm saying? It's just stupid, mm-hmm. bro. But yeah, I appreciate weird. you for real for doing this interview, oh, bro. God. I really appreciate oh, you. Um, it's gonna be out. What day is it today? Wednesday or Tuesday? Probably like Thursday. It's gonna be out Thursday. Oh, I bet for sure. Hell so. yeah! But yeah, bro, I really I appreciate you, bro. Right now. Let's um, let's stay locked in, bro. I appreciate you. Oh God, oh God, bro, you a chill ass nigga, bro. Cause like, of course, <clears throat> a lot of these people in the interviews, bro, like that I've been getting recently, bro, <clears throat> they just be like. They all ask the same questions, and I and like it's not even like we having a conversation. It's really just strictly questions, questions, questions. With you, we was like conversating and really like clicking on. That that's shit. what I'm like, saying, bro. Like that's why I do this shit because not it's not like like I said, not about the numbers. This is or not about not even really about content. It's just about meeting people and you know what I'm saying that type of shit because that's the most really understanding important the person. Thing. Exactly. Because like, bro, like I'll, I'll be with an interviewer, bro, or like whatnot, bro. They'll be asking me questions. Then I ask another question. Another question. It's like it's never like a conversation going on. It's always just like a question. Okay, question. Like acting like I'm some robot or something. Like, bro, <laughs> come on, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Him, bro. But yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Um, oh, I'm a, I'm gonna put all your socials and everything in the in the description. And yeah, bro, I'm a, uh, I'm gonna DM you when it's up. I. Right. Oh. I right, appreciate you, bro.